All right. It is dinner time. So in order to get ready for dinner, we need to set the table. Now, in South Carolina, we call it supper, but we're not in South Carolina, so it's dinner time. <laughs> in order to set the table, there are a couple of things that we need to do. We need to have our plates out, our glasses out, and our silverware out. With young children, we probably want to have all of these items out for them so that they can know where they are and go over and grab the items or get the items and bring them over to the proper setting. As you noticed, I have round placemats. You can get rectangular placemats, square placemats, placemats that look like flowers, whatever. But this is what I chose because I love the summertime look. So we're going to start off setting our table with our plates, placing our plates. Oh, do we want to place the plates over to the side like this? No, we want them to be in the middle. This is one thing that I like about using the round mats with children is because you can work with them on centering that plate in the middle. Go over and get our next plate. Again, we need to make sure we center that plate in the middle. There we go, all around. Plates met, our, our napkins are going to be over to the side on the left. Now let's move on to some knives. We get one at a time. Put our knife on the right hand side. And again, the serrated edge needs to be against the plate. And you can hear where the serrated edge is. So that needs to be on the right. And get the other knife and set that over. There it is on the right. Next, let's get our spoons right back over and put our spoon right next to our knife. Go back over and get our other spoon and place that right next to our knife. Now we have one last piece of utensil to place our forks. Well, does the fork go on our right hand side? Well, no. Mr. Fork got mad at the knife and the spoon and got went over to and left them. And he was mad at them because the fork and the spoon, I mean the knife and the spoon were right. So we put the fork on our left hand side. Again, get the next fork. Remember, Mr. Fork got mad at the knife and the spoon and went over to the left. And the reason why he got mad is because the knife and the spoon were right. Now we have our play setting. We need something else. Our glasses. The glasses will go on the top right hand corner outside of the placemat or if you had a larger placemat they could be sitting on the placemat but again right over on the right above just above the knife and the spoon. The same again just above the knife and the spoon. Now, we need to understand that some families may not set their table like this. Some families may have their silverware on top of the plates. Some families may have their silverware lined up in a wicker 
container for, for the family members to go and grab the silverware. Or again, mom may decide, I want my children to set the table this way. We're ready to eat. Thank you.